Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper, and welcome back everybody to a brand new video today on the channel. What we got going on is going to be the top 10 best guns to use in PUBG right now. Every single weapon at some point goes through its own tweaks, its nerfs, buffs, and changes, and today we're going to be going over the best guns that are in the game currently going into 2019. So in case you're new to the game, or maybe you haven't played in a while, or you just want to know what are the top tier weapons in this game, sit back, relax, we've got you covered on that. And before we get into it, if you guys don't mind sparing a second to leave a like rating on the video, I'd really appreciate it. it helps more than you imagine and of course if you do happen to be brand new to the channel and like this kind of stuff make sure to subscribe the way it's looking like is we're gonna get 200,000 on Christmas Day itself which would be pretty awesome so if you want to drop me a sub that'd be the best present you could ever give me now keep in mind for this list I can only pick 10 of the best guns but there's plenty weapons in PUBG that are viable and I'd say are great to use so let me know in the comment section what is your number one favorite gun in PUBG just the whatever you think is the best what you would recommend to people we only have 10 slots so if the weapon that you said didn't make it don't worry about it don't get salty it is what it is but without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get into the list of the 10 best guns right now in PUBG so coming in today our number 10 spot is going to be the Groza now this is such an interesting odd different kind of assault rifle it is airdrops only so the amount of playtime and practice that the average player is going to have is very low as compared to a lot of the other guns in the game so the reason why I feel it should be considered one of the best guns in the game right now is because this is one of the only weapons that hasn't gone any major tweaks or nerfs or anything like that it still is airdrops only of course which is going to make it a little bit rare and you're not going to have as much play time with it but if you get your hands on it technically i would say it is the best 762 firing assault rifle now a couple of properties it has is that it can't hold a compensator like literally every other air in the game i don't know why the decision was made for them to do that it can take a suppressor but that's about it i don't even think it takes a flash hider so no muzzle attachments beside a suppressor good luck if you want to if you don't have that for the groza but if you can control this if you can master this weapon it is an absolute machine honestly it handles more like an sm G, but has the range and the stopping power of any of the assault rifles which is great it's a, it's a wonderful mix and i think you can never go wrong running this weapon coming in today at the number nine spot is the dp28 which may be a little bit of a surprise but believe me i think this gun is incredible it used to not be very good before it got patched and then it went through a huge buff where pretty much the recoil was cut in half effectively and now if you prone with the weapon as you just saw it becomes the most gentle gun you've ever fired in your life and it's really really easy to use on Unfortunately, one of the downsides is that it does not appear in every map. Miramar and Vikendi don't have the DP-28. That might change a little bit later in the future or something, but as of right now, those are no longer options in those maps. I strongly recommend the DP-28 to anybody who might be new to the game and just wants to learn how to control the weapons and how they work, stuff like that. It only gives you one option for attachments, which is, of course, the sight. So if you want to learn how these things work, but you don't want to get overwhelmed with things like muzzle and, and grips and things like that, I would start here. It's got a very generous magazine size at 47 and a really quick reload time for how many bullets you get which is very surprising and a super high dps if you can hit those shots so i cannot recommend this weapon enough the dp28 is fantastic very underrated but unfortunately it's not in every map so that is the downside now getting away from the lmgs and coming in today at the number eight spot is going to be the vector smg now the vector and me have had quite the interesting relationship you could say i despised the weapon when i started playing the game and granted it wasn't quite as good as it is is now in its current patch which is why I'm kind of making this video because over the little changes and tweaks that it's gotten and when it's fully kitted out you get a feel for it this weapon is is probably has a higher DPS than even the shotguns in a lot of cases and that's not even a joke in theory, it can outgun anything up close, but the problem is the Vector is an all-or-nothing kind of weapon. If you don't have the extended mag with it, the effectiveness of this weapon gets literally cut in half. But if you're lucky enough to get the Vector plus all of its attachments and be in a situation where you can fight in close quarters, that weapon is going to be better than anything else you're going to be finding in the future. But even so, you still might not like the weapon very much, even if you do have everything for it. It's a very polarizing gun, in my opinion. Like, you either love it or you hate it from a lot of the players' opinions that I've seen. I hated the weapon when it came out, and then now, current day, I actually love the gun, and I run it whenever I have the correct setup for it. Regardless of your personal feelings for it, though, you cannot deny that the Vector still is a very effective gun to use in this game. I'd say right now, the Vector is undeniably still the best SMG. However, the PP Bison's coming to the game very soon, and that might might change things up we'll have to see how that plays out but anyways getting away from the smgs and the vector coming in today at the number seven spot is the sks dmr 
And this is one of those guns where I really feel like you should just sit down and learn the mechanics of this weapon. If you can get a feel for it, you understand the bullet drop and can like almost visualize it as you're firing the weapon. That is the, the biggest like skill tree that you have to climb to use the SKS. A lot of people struggle just having to lead shots and, uh, you know, shoot people under pressure in different scenarios. But the more you understand the weapon, the easier that is going to be for you. And while I believe that this is one of the harder guns to learn in the game, I don't think it's as tough to learn as the SLR. And it's also pretty much just as effective as, as that gun as well. So it really kind of knocks that as a contender on the list. This weapon works best when it has all of its attachments. Of course, you're going to want to get as many as possible. But when it comes to grips, you might not be so sure about which one is going to be the most effective. I'm going to tell you that the only ones worth running are the vertical grip and the lightweight grip. The other ones, the half grip and thumb grip and even angle just stay away from for the most part. Unless you're for some reason using the SKS as an up close gun and maybe, you know, with a red dot, consider using the angled grip. That might be okay for it. But if you're shooting out of range, uh, the penalty to weapon sway that and stability that the angled grip is going to give you, it, it's a hard no for me, dog. Don't ever try to use that at, at, at any range. It's going to make it way tougher on yourself than it should be. Even no grip might be easier for you. It's a good idea to pair the SKS with something like an M416 so you kind of have that medium range combat. And also, it's not a bad idea to maybe even run a vector with it as well. You can play around and experiment with it, figure out what meta you like the best with the SKS. But at the end of the day, it is an absolutely solid weapon. And uh, it's, it's an another one of those guns that hasn't gone any major nerfs, which is good. Taking on number six spot today is going to be the G36C, which is the brand new assault rifle that got added with the winter map Vikendi. And this, in my eyes, is the true competitor to the M416. A lot of the other 5.56 firing assault rifles are good, but they always are kind of overshadowed by the M4 just as far as these statistics. But the G36C it has its own kind of void that it fills that the M4 doesn't quite do. I think it's much better at a range than the M4 will ever be. And if you want to use it as like a scuffed DMR, put a scope and a grip on it, it's not too bad for that either. I also think it's easier to use than the M416. So regardless of the platform that you're playing on, if you're a little bit newer and you want to just understand how the assault rifles function, the G36C is a great place to get started. You'll get used to the gun really quickly. The attachments are easy to understand. It takes all these standard AR ones and you don't need a stock for it uh, as opposed to the M4, which is another thing to worry about. But all in all, the G36C is a welcome addition to the game. However, it does kind of suck that the Scar-L always gets shafted whenever a new AR gets added to a specific map. Even though the Scar-L technically, statistically is inferior to the M4, a lot of people still love this as a weapon and have better feels for it than the M416. But either way, the G36C is an absolute green light and uh, something that I highly recommend you invest some time getting good with. Moving along though, and coming at the number five spot is God's gift to DMRs, the MK14, the airdrop only DMR, but for, for good reason, right? This shouldn't be a common spawn because this thing does everything. It's the all-in-one package. This is the only actual DMR in the game that can go into a full auto mode and be like effective like this. It also has a bipod so that if you want to prone with it, you can eliminate your recoil. You can just throw a scope and single tap. You can do anything you want with this weapon, but unfortunately it's quite rare. Like, I truly feel that out of all of the airdrop weapons, I see this one the least these days. But a word of advice, if you want to go for this weapon, of course, chase drops. But better yet, if you see it in the kill feed and you know, like, or maybe around where that person is, or you remember the name or something, and you have an idea for where they are, it is absolutely, without a doubt, worth it to go and chase after that weapon and try to get it. It's one of the only weapons in the game that you can say truly dominates its class, without a doubt. I don't think you can even really compare any DMR to the MK14 at the end of the day. They just don't hold a can. So that's why it has to come in today at, at that high of a spot. But moving along here and starting to get to the top of our list, coming in at number four is the M24 sniper rifle. Now, some of you might be asking yourself, okay, where's the Kern 98? Some people prefer the K9 over the M24. And if you're one of those people, I'm actually with you. I, I, I'm just better with the Kern 98 because I have way more play time and I just understand the gun a bit better than this one. But if you just want to look at it statistically speaking, the M24 is better than the Kern 98 in every single way. But I think that there's something to be said about your feel and your understanding for the weapon to, to make it effective as well. But in all reality, the M24 is still technically the most effective and strongest a common sniper that you're going to find in PUBG. So if you can get good with this weapon, and maybe if you've never practiced the Carnegie 8, you don't have a lot of play time with either of these weapons, this might be a better place to start because it's more effective. And if you can learn it better than the Carnegie 8, it, it, it's like there's, there's no downside to that. So listen, guys, don't crucify me for that. I love the Carnegie 8 as much as the next guy. But if you just want to look at it from like an analytical standpoint, the M24 just is faster, it's stronger in every way. 
but even though I'm talking the M4 up this much, it's still not the best sniper rifle in the game. Coming in at the number three spot is the illustrious, the amazing AWM, and I don't even have to say it at this point, you guys already get it, drops only of course, but it's so unique, it's so effective that you, you cannot say no to running this as a gun. The bullet velocity that you get from the AWM makes it so that you almost don't really have to lead shots or e even aim above people if you're shooting out of range. It's by far the easiest gun as far as these snipers to shoot in PUBG. And in the same way that the M24 is better in every way than the Carnegie 8, the AWM is better than the M24 in pretty much every way too. It's a gun that really helped make PUBG what it is today. It's very iconic and, and, and kind of gave it an identity if you ask me. So even after all this time, it still remains champion as the best sniper rifle currently in PUBG. We've cracked the top three. We're really high on this list. And coming in today at our number two spot is the AKM. Now I've put countless hours into getting good with this weapon. And a lot of people don't like it just because because of the ridiculous amount of kick that you get, the, uh, I guess, less than customizable options that come with it as well for the attachments, but I've come to the conclusion that this is probably the easiest gun to use once you get the hang of it. And while, yes, it does have a lot of recoil, it's almost all vertical, so if you get into a pattern where you can just pull down correctly on it at the right speed and rate, it's almost like a laser. The, the other big downside is that it's not very effective at turning into a DMR, like putting a scope and shooting at a range. The bullets travel way too slowly, and the kick is unpredictable, so it doesn't have that going for it, but otherwise it's amazing. I feel like I kind of am in the minority for liking this weapon so much. I know that there are fans of it, but a, a lot of people just don't tend to gravitate towards this. Some people actually enjoy the barrel more, which is fine. You know, it's got a higher DPS, but I just find that way harder to control and it's it just not as predictable or like easy to get used to as the AKM. If you've never really tried this gun, get a red dot or a hollow, put on a compensator and an extended mag, and then shoot around with it, get used to it, and then see what you think. A a little bit down the road. But coming in today, guys, at our number one spot as the best gun in PUBG right now is still the reigning champ, like my, literally my wife, the M416. You know what, guys? I fell in love with her the first time I ever played this game, and I think that a lot of players consider the M4 also to be one of the best guns, if not the best one in the game. It just all around does everything. It's effectively the fastest firing 5.56 assault rifle, so you can use it up close, and it's got a wicked high DPS. You can use that as a DMR. You could even snipe with it if you want sometimes if you want to put a six times on it and you have like a stock grip and, and it's fully kitted out. Thankfully, it's also in every map so that you never have to be separated with it. It amazes me how this gun never caught a nerf for how effective it is. It, like pretty much all the time it's been in PUBG, it's remained the same and, and it just allows you to get better and get good with it. In my opinion, outperforms any assault rifle, even uh, some SMGs up close and even some DMRs at a range. Like it does it all. It, it truly is a keeper in my opinion. If you get the M416 in your hands, never let it go. Figuring out what weapons to put on this list was pretty hard and a lot got switched out the more I thought about it and it was just overall tough to pick which ones were worthy but it was not hard to pick at all that the M416 should be the number one spot like hands down. But anyways guys that is the top 10 best guns in PUBG right now. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about this list and let me know what you think the best gun in the game is as well and the video's not over yet guys I need to keep you around for one more quick second guys something pretty important to say. First of all I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. I don't think I'm going to be posting on Christmas Day so that I'll see you after then and also I'm going to be moving houses really soon so there might be a little bit of downtime on, on the channel when I'm moving my setup to the new place and getting used to it everything like that but there's a lot of cool stuff coming with it and when we hit 200,000 subscribers I think I'm going to do like a gaming setup tour if that's something you guys are interested in seeing just let me know but uh, a lot of cool stuff that I'm working on coming up on the channel I hope you guys are excited and uh, ready to stick around for that but anyways thank you so much for watching once again be sure to leave a like rating subscribe if you're brand new follow me on twitter link will be down below in the description and uh, I'll see you guys on the next live stream or the the next video. Take it easy and peace out.